I wrote a two-part article ten years ago titled uh, Is European Civil War Inevitable by 2025? And I see no reason in 2017 to change my view that, that yes, it is very much inevitable. There, there are links underneath this video to the two articles which lay out the reasons why, but here is a quick excerpt quote from them. And please bear in mind this was written in 2007. Quote, Islamic terrorist activity is being constantly thwarted by European intelligence services, but over the next 10 years, some of these jihadists will slip through the net and carry out their next very large atrocity. Although most Europeans are still in a deep liberal sleep regarding Islam, this won't last. By 2017, the tensions between Europeans and Islam will have become nerve-jangling. Impotent officials will employ ever stricter government controls in a futile attempt to preserve the facade of social order. But somewhere between 2017 and 2030, during a period of heightened tension, Islamists in France, Holland or Britain will blow up one church, train or plane too many, retaliation will begin, tit will turn to tat, and so the spiral will begin. The police are unable really to cope now, they'll be even less prepared then. The army will be drafted in, and members of the military who are willing to carry out orders against their neighbours, which I hope will not be many, will find themselves massively outnumbered and outflanked. Civilians will be massacred, and so begins the civil war. And when the violence reaches a tipping point, every person, be they moderate or extremist in their views, will be forced to take sides in this war. There will be no bystanders and no passive civilians. Moderate Muslims, in, in uh, all likelihood, will take the side of the extremists, and this war will resemble none of Europe's previous conflicts, with their uh, standing armies massed along clearly delineated lines, in the coming civil war, it will initially be civilians, not armed with tanks and machine guns, but with knives and bombs and terror, who will call out the dogs of war. End quote. That's the end of the excerpt. But can you feel the atmosphere building today? Because I certainly can. And the murder of the Muslims outside the Finsbury Park Mosque is the first real instance of the tit-for-tat violence be that's beginning. And it won't stop there, because this war against us has never really been a war as such, because one side needs to actually resist in order for a war to be called a war. But I, I think we can safely say that June the 18th, 2017, marked the beginning of the European Civil War and that this religious civil war is completely inevitable if we continue to be ruled by the, the useless, cowardly, appeasing politicians we currently have. Because the coming carnage could be stopped in its tracks today, but no politician is prepared to take the action necessary, which is, of course, to remove Islam from Europe. And when Theresa May recently stated, enough is enough, she didn't really mean it, they were just words. When the next attack happens, which it will come as sure as night follows day, she will say those words again, and again, and again, and again. It is tragically laughable watching these civilised, well-meaning, democratic, liberal politicians coming up against the brutality of jihad. They're not just slightly out of their depth, they're struggling to even float on the increasingly choppy surface of a, a thousand fathom deep sea. As I say, the European Civil War has started, and the last time this happened was in the 1990s, when Yugoslavia fractured along racial and religious fault lines. And are the liberal multiculturalists today so stupid they cannot see the fault lines fracturing all across Europe right now? The religious civil war has started. It will be fought by your children. It will be as bloody as Syria and Libya today. It could be stopped, but the type of politician who could stop it has yet to be elected. We're trying, but time is running out, and our clueless politicians and media apparatchiks seem intent on taking us into the horrors of medieval religious war. That is how bad it has become. And now the tit-for-tat violence has started, which I abhor, by the way, and would like to 
make that clear right now. I don't want Islam in Britain, but I don't want Muslims murdered on British streets. I would like to make that very clear, but, but we are now, I believe, at war. I believe Islam will retaliate against the uh, Finsbury Mosque murders, murder, and I believe that someone else will retaliate again. That is how civil war starts. It's time to take sides. Which side are you on?